T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And we have liftoff. Stage one propulsion nominal. Vehicles pitching downrange. We're now 30 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 is preparing to pass through max Q, which will happen at T plus 1 minute and 12 seconds. For those of you that might be unfamiliar with this term, max Q is when the vehicle will experience the greatest amount of dynamic greatest amount of dynamic pressure. Call out there that everything is looking nominal for first stage. To prepare for max Q, we throttle the engines down and then back up about 20 seconds later. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. So there we heard the call out that the vehicle is passing through max Q. Coming up, we're gonna have three events happening in quick succession. We're gonna have main, main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Main engine cutoff coming up in three seconds. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All right, there on your screen, we have confirmation of stage separation, as well as MVAC ignition. Good, MVAC ignition. Great view there of planet Earth rotating behind the first stage, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, and the second stage on the right-hand side. Bearing separation confirmed. And confirmation that the, uh, there you saw it on your screen, the two fairing halves have separated, exposing the SXM-7 satellite. If you look closely, you can actually see the fairing disappearing from view in the background there. And we're, within, we're performing the first of two planned MVAC burns. At stage separation, the first stage's velocity is about 2,200 meters per second, or 5,000 meters per hour, pretty fast. Once the first and second stages separate, that first stage is actually still moving at such a high velocity that it continues to raise its altitude uh, as it coasts for a couple of minutes prior to starting its downward return back to Earth. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Everything continued to looking Seco. nominal. Uh, and there we heard the call out of Seco. Stage one, entry burn has started. There we can see that the entry burn has begun. Slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's one, atmosphere. Entry burn, shut down. And shut down of those three engines for entry burn. Trajectory continues to look nominal there for a second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. This event preserves the fuel until we need it for the final burn to take us to our targeted orbit for the SXM-7 satellite. And then about 25 seconds after Seco 1, we'll hopefully have a live view of the first stage touching down. Stage two's in terminal guidance. Touching down on our drone ship, just read the instructions. So we're expecting the landing burn to begin in about 10 seconds. Stage two FTS is saved. Everything continued to looking Seco. nominal. And tuning in for that landing on the left-hand side. Hopefully we stick it. <laughs> Looks like we lost the feed there. We'll try to, bring that, try to bring that back to you whenever we have the opportunity. But we did hear the call, the call out that we have good orbit for uh, the second stage. So nominal orbital insertion. Stage one is landed. Landing operators proceed into 11.100 on recovery one. And there's that view. <laughs> 
Once again, this is the seventh flight and therefore the seventh landing of this particular booster. Uh, we're gonna take a break here. See you back here at T plus 25 minutes. At this point in time, the second stage will burn for about 45 seconds, adding over 2,000 meters per second to the second stage's speed. And there we can see that that MVAC engine has ignited. This burn places the SXM satellite into the required orbit prior to separating it from Falcon 9. And we had confirmation that we have a good burn. Nominal orbit insertion. And nominal orbit for that second stage. So we'll be back here at T plus 30 minutes. That separation is scheduled to take place about a minute from now. The satellite that we're carrying on board today, the SXM-7, is Sirius XM's next generation high power broadcasting satellite. Separation confirmed. And there on your screen, we can see that the payload has separated. Thank you to Sirius XM for entrusting us with the SXM-7 satellite. This mission marked the seventh launch and landing for this particular Falcon 9 booster, SpaceX's 69th successful booster landing, and despite a crazy 2020, our 25th launch this year. To the range and FAA, we appreciate having your support for today's mission. And to all of our viewers, as always, thank you for joining us and have a great day. They show love, I'ma show it back If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that Alright, yeah, let's do that again If they show love, I'ma show it back If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that Alright, yeah, let's